And welcome back. Well, these four high school seniors were last year's recipients of $20,000 in scholarships from the Make It Better Foundation presented by Cousin Subs. So for its fifth year in a row, Cousin Subs will be awarding another 20 grand for student athletes in its Wisconsin Sports Awards Scholarship Contest. So cool. And mm -hmm. Justin McCoy is the Vice President of Marketing, Marketing for Cousin <laughs> Oh, I can't talk for Cousin subs. subs to let you know how your high school senior could get in on the cash. Great to see you. Yeah. Great to see you again. <laughs> this is so wonderful. You've been here um, the last couple years to talk about this. You've been doing this since 2013? Yes. Uh, yes, since 2013, we've given away $60,000 in scholarships. So fantastic. fantastic. So what is the contest? So it's called the Cousin Subs Wisconsin Sports Awards Scholarship Contest. A little mouthful there. Yes. But yes. Uh, so the reason it's uh, called the Wisconsin Sports Awards Scholarship Contest is because we partner with Good Karma Events here in Milwaukee and they put on the Wisconsin Sports Awards Show. So it's not only a scholarship contest where the athletes win a scholarship, but they also get to come to a great event where they get to meet Wisconsin's finest in professional sports, college sports, walk a red carpet, and the whole deal. So it's quite the event. That's cool. really, why is it so important for you guys to do this for students? Well, being a Wisconsin-based company, uh, we're always looking to invest in the community. And for us, uh, it's, it's more than just being an athlete. It's about being a well-rounded student athlete. So the mm -hmm. criteria is they have to have a, three point, a cumulative 3.5 GPA or, or higher, but they also have to exhibit uh, work in the community and also show us um, that, they're, that they're doing the work in the classroom too. So being a well-rounded athlete is really important to us. Because mm -hmm, it's not just a sports thing. They also have to have their head in the game when it right. comes to school, which I think is cool. So a lot of seniors know that deadlines are coming up for different things, including scholarships, along with everything else, like applying for college. H how does it work in terms of the amount of time you give people and when you'll make the announcement? Yes, yeah, so we so the con so it opened yesterday, and it runs through, they have until February 28th to apply. And then from there, we'll be uh, reaching out, we'll be vetting all the applications, going through all of them, choosing our, my team whittles it down to a top 10, top, uh, top 10 for both male and female, and then our board of directors picks the final winners. This year we'll be announcing, we'll probably let them know around April, and then the event uh, culminates with the Wisconsin Sports Awards show on May 11th in Madison at uh, Camp Randall, so it's going to be quite the event this year. Yeah. That's great. So eligibility, you just have to be a senior? And yeah, have to participate. Five, you said. Yeah, participated in a WIA sanctioned sport. And it's really important that uh, senior athletes know that this isn't just for the core sports of volleyball or basketball. We've had winners that are golf, you know, that are participating in golf, cross country. So as long as it's a sanctioned sport, that's one of the pieces, 3.5 GPA or more, and then some sort of exhibited um, community work or work with nonprofit or something like that. That's, That's wonderful. I like the way you, you approach it in terms of getting mm -hmm. a well-rounded um, student. Um, where can people go for more information and in, in to apply? And, and do people write an essay as well? Or do you need letters of recommendation? Right. We require two letters of recommendation. There is a series of questions we ask them to answer. Um, I would encourage them to be creative and give us those highlights. You know, we're looking for stories that really grab us. There's been some great stories over the years. But they can go to CousinSubs.com slash scholarship and they can apply there. Um, I think it's a lot easier to apply on, on on the, um, our website, but they can also mail it in if they'd like to, and that would need to be postmarked by February 28th if they do that. How impressed are you by kids that apply? I, I feel like, you know, a lot of people give grief to a lot of students this age, but I think kids are so impressive. When they're the good kids and they're doing all these things, they're off the charts. I don't know how they get time to do half of what they do. When we, when we go through these applicants, last year we had over, I think we had about 370 applicants. Mm -hmm. The majority of them being 4.0 students, sports, multiple um, activities in the community, and it's just so impressive what these kids are doing. And, you know, when you look around the world today, it makes you feel good when you read these applications. And I also look at my 10-year-old son and think, how am I going to find the time for him to do all the stuff that these kids are doing? But there's been, there's just some really impressive uh, students here in the state of Wisconsin, which makes us really proud. Well, and I, I think that. there's a discipline that comes with sports. And so they're right. probably disciplined as it comes to their sport, and then they're disciplined about getting their homework done and maybe even having a job or helping the community, which is wonderful that you're recognizing for that and that the, all their hard work is paying off in, in right. real ways. So high school seniors, um, athletes can apply. Again, um, you mentioned some of the requirements and the deadline. What you need to do is go to this website to apply. It's cousinsubs.com slash scholarship. And the deadline is? February 28th. February Perfect. 28th. Great to see you again. Thanks, Thank Justin. you so much.